Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. This is uh, Shioni in my house. My ch ch in my our house. Yeah. Final Fantasy XIV, Diabolos, Ward 24, Plot 37, Size, Medium, Mist. Uh, we had this done by Tefana Lockhart. I will link her page. Uh, we found her off of a YouTube video, and thankfully she came out of retirement to do this for us. Totally worth the time and money. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start walking through here. Uh, first off, you know, we're in the mist. It's a nice beachy area, as you can see. We have a nice outdoor fire pit. I like to think that this umbrella is made from fire retardant material. Uh, so if it ever goes out of control, we could just cut it down and it would smother it and not catch everything on fire. Uh, we have a couple gardens over here. Nothing planted at the moment. A couple of nice beach chairs. Oh, can you doze on the... Yeah. Who, who lays on a beach chair on their side? Okay, I mean that that's that's interesting. Change pose, not chance pose. Change pose. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Nice little water garden pond area here, uh, with the crystal so we can teleport. And then a couple of floated decks that are hanging over the edge of the fence line. And it's nice because you get a nice view of the beach. Uh, but yeah, that's it for the exterior. Nice and minimalist. Uh, mailbox hidden inside the light out here. Uh, one of my retainers, just you know, kind of, kind of here. So as you enter the house, you are greeted by. I'm gonna move to first person here. So you have this nice seating area. You have the uh, Tefana wings up there, and you'll notice that the uh, the purplish hue, pinkish hue, trees right here, the wall, the blue, the orange flowers to match here, so it's all very tied together. So beautiful uh, kind of centerpiece to, to when you walk into the house. Uh, you have this nice little shoe area, handbag and, and such little sit down when you come into the house. Sorry about the music. Uh, over here you have a step up to a nice lounge area. TV over the fireplace. Nice books. I really like this for extra light. Uh, at night time it looks phenomenal. Uh, very catching triangular architecture view, uh, you know, very neutralish blue accents, uh, but tons of light in here. It's really, really nice. It's our uh, little guest book. Uh, then you have our kitchen area. Sorry about my terrible graphics card making these little clipping things. Um, this is more of just like a, a garden feature, like an indoor garden. So you have little potted plants here. Um, you know, you can sit in it, but it's really just meant to be kind of a, an eye-drawing feature, you know, with the big skylights on the side. Uh, then you have your refrigerator. I'm going to have to change from this to give you kind of a better look. You have the little macaron seats, really like that, kind of a, a bar setting. Uh, the range hood in the oven, and, you know, your cabinets, a lot of light coming in with these little planners, got your aprons, 
big beautiful sink. Uh, the reason that the, the cabinets are steaming is because um, she had to put pots inside of here to make these handles, uh, and we just haven't eaten all the soup out of it. So uh, when we eat all the soup out of it, there will be no more steaming cabinets. Um, she had a different brick wall here, uh, kind of a pinkish hue. It really kind of matched the, uh, the seats and the stove. Um, but we wanted to get a little bit more blues, so we changed it to this uh, bathroom tile. And uh, we did a lot of uh, cerulean blue and raptor blue and things like that. Um, so one thing you'll notice here is that this is actually built over the downstairs, or what would have been the downstairs basement. Um, for a medium house, you're limited to 300 items. So we are at 300 items, and uh, that was for two floors. So uh, I want to point out this floated light right here, which, you know, shines right here. I don't know how she did it. Um, magic. So as you head upstairs, you have our little beautiful landing area with our cute little piano and our dancing mandragoras. Nice chandelier. Switch to first person again. Uh, nice accent curtains, kind of a, just, you know, an eye appeal kind of thing, you know, a feature. Uh, to the right over here, you have the bedroom. And in the bedroom, you have our shelf TV stand type thing. Uh, and then you have this beautiful garden view. So this is like a balcony looking out over a garden is the idea. Um, the, the amount of detail floated everything. Uh, a king-size bed, we've confirmed you can fit five people on this thing. It's kind of crazy. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, another one of these portals. Again, you know, it's a feature, it's a wall feature, um, but it also adds a lot of extra light in here. The orchestrion, of course, um, for the house music. And then you have our closet. So cute little stuff hanging up here, folded up shirts. And then... Uh, the dressers, kind of a perfume area, I think, and then into the master bath. Here we go. Beautiful vanity area. Just, uh, it's just so pretty. All the detail here. Um, the bath. <laughs> uh, the wife dyed these accents walls here we didn't like we really liked how light it was um, we didn't want to put a bunch of a bunch of colors um, but you know you can sit in the tub Oops. I like to pull out my Lala dial and uh, have it in the bathtub or in a mazu or a turtle or something and then you have the shower so she put a drain here to cover it up, a little towel. Um, it's a nice, nice big shower. I like to dance in here, usually bees knees. Sorry for the uh, background Facebook noise. And the toilet. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick run through here. So we have toilet shower, bathtub, vanity. Closet, master bedroom with balcony garden overlook. Landing area with a ton of light and a nice piano. Kitchen, entrance area, with closet slash shoe nook, main living area, accent wall, downstairs garden area. The amount of effort, the amount of skill, uh, being able to float these different things, to fit everything in here, to get it so seamless. Uh, if I had a better graphics card, this you wouldn't even see this. Um, 
just how well everything's tied together. The the colors are very nice, a lot of good neutral colors. You can see there's plenty of natural light coming in here. Um, I like we couldn't ask for anything better or more. Um, we had some general ideas about what we were looking for, but Tefana just just ran with it and really like it was interesting watching her creative flow. Uh, we would come in here one day and it would look one way and then we'd come in the next day and it would look totally different. Um, and you know she just she just had ideas and just ran with them and all we could do was watch and clap and wonder so um, that's the tour of the house. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed it. I certainly did. Um, definitely worth the time and money. Working with her was an absolute pleasure. We we could not be happier. So thanks everybody for watching the house tour. And uh, please check out Tefana's work. Uh, I linked her website, Tefana, Tefana. Uh, I linked her website in the video description. Take care.